What's up, YouTube? Gary at you. Uh, as you can see, the three drawer came in. Um, this is going to be pretty much the new pit cart setup. Um, my plan is running our common accessories at the top, you know, like tire gauge, stuff like that. And the second drawer. I have it divided so we can fit, you know, our wrench pouch, uh, screwdrivers, and the pliers that we use. And then, you know, batteries, the impact, and stuff like that. So I'm really hopeful that this will kind of solve the problem. I've been looking around for a long time about solutions in the pits. Uh, mainly because we need it lightweight and these things each weigh about 20 pounds unloaded give or take so you fill them with tools eh, roughly 50 75 pounds in between that but you know like something like a metal box it's going to weigh significantly more so I do want to utilize this in the best way now the one other cool feature and I know everybody's showing this that it does lock the drawers let me get down here so you can see this is an absolute must for us in the trailer and it's why I swear by the magnetic tool uh, trays mainly because you don't have sockets going flying every which way I'll show you what I'm talking about. So like snap-on tray, they're magnetic. So see, upside down, magnetic. You take one of these rails, they're kind of a pain to get on and off quickly okay when we need a socket we need a socket like yesterday you know the other types of trays like the uh, thin aluminum ones you know wh whichever brand you prefer they're good trays for you know somebody that's stationary but it sucks when you go to move them so stuff like that really uh yeah takes its toll and I can't afford disorganization so put most of my pack out stuff back onto the rack but as you can see I don't use the pack out like traditionally this is all tire and air stuff this is all measurement and engine building honing. Um, this one is all uh, like die grinder discs, things like that. Uh, fuses for electrical. And one below it, we have brakes and a radiator tool. And here we have um, fuel and more uh, attachments to. Uh, discharge my larger box right here with the OPT is all welding gear so like welding and fab and stud welder and whatever and the big box is usually all the overflow that we need to build race cars so you know I thought that now with this this is going to be nice and I can also add a top to it and you know have a place to store um, things for when we're uh, testing out on the track and whatnot you know because usually that's pen and paper or phone it all depends on how we do it 
Um, but if I don't fill up all the drawers, I can put our uh, whatever that thing's called, uh, you know, pad thing, case, clipboard, whatever thingy with all of our information in it and then have something to go um i do have the pack out feet right here um my fourth one is inside thanks to kids that love to grab things um they didn't know exactly what it was for so <laughs> you know uh the plan is to take my milwaukee air compressor and get that to where it can attach here you know just for transportation so I don't mind switching out a table or something when I get to the pits but I want like immediate access to everything because a lot of times when I get there it's drop and go so try to get as much data as I can uh, try to get tire temps and everything else so we know where the setup is get to talk to the driver what the game plan is you know how's the car stuff like that so this will be a nice thing um, hopefully this thing will hold up I mean I know that I don't think water can get in which is a huge plus so um, we'll just see how things go and you'll see it in upcoming videos so for now keep it on the track